Andrew had only missed a beat when the bald teacher violently beat him. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Most people wouldn't be able to endure such abuse and in extreme cases they might even seek revenge on the teacher. But Andrew was different. After a brief moment of absent-minded, he began listening to the piece of music once, twice, and then a hundred times. Then he began playing the drums. That day, a concert was being held at Lincoln Center. As the show was about to begin, the main drummer lost the music and couldn't go on stage. The bald teacher went berserk. Andrew seized the opportunity. I can't. I can. He memorized every beat of the piece by heart. The performance was a success, and he led the band to first place. On his way home, Andrew beamed, for his position as main drummer was secure. But the next day, an equally gifted drummer and new drummer appeared in the band. This was Baldy's new recruit. After a brief test, Andrew was sent back to the bench. He confronted Baldy. If you want the fucking part, earn it. He was furious. He let go of all ties, first breaking up with his girlfriend. To free up all his time, he moved his bed into the drum room. He slept when he was tired, practiced when he woke up, and used ice to relieve the pain when his hands were Cut. He practiced until he was swearing, went crazy, and even punched the drums to pieces. That day, Baldi proposed an almost impossible rhythm. The three began to take turns. With the other two drummers nearly collapsed, Andrew fought harder and harder because he was already used to this kind of intense training. He finally achieved a speed that satisfied Baldi, regaining his position as the core drummer.